What's up guys, Express Design here, or Express, and I'm here with my typography video. I'll show you how I made these typography texts you guys asked the most on this on this banner, on this Maya banner. You have to smash that with views and likes, so I'm going to show you how I made that, that text. And I'm going to show you that recent one, you guys absolutely smash with likes, this is a simpler one. I'm going to show you also this one, this is also kind of nice, but simple, and I'm going to show you this one as well. This is a difficult, more difficult one. But I'll show you uh, each of them separately. I will start with the Maya one because everyone likes that the most. I'm gonna uh, do it with one letter, not the full one, because uh, it's just simpler for me. But it's the base. You just do it for the same uh, letter each time. So let's we'll start with the M. We'll just go to make it a bit bigger, and I'm going to choose the same font. And I think I used Made Soul Maze. Uh, I'm going to choose a gray so I can. It's more like a, I'm going to choose a different background so I can see the difference. Um, doesn't really matter what background it is. Uh, see, it's the same font, and I put like a gradient on top. I put a gradient from gray to a bit white, so I'm going to do that right now. The gradient is uh, is a simple gradient. It's this gradient, we just put down the opacity way much. I put the scale on. And I put it on normal because it's on exclusive. Put it on, not on reverse. Put it like that. There you go. Maybe I am making it a bit more white on top. There you go. So the bottom is just gray and the top is still white. Uh, then you want to do is just copy the M with Ctrl J. Uh, and then just put it back a little bit. Uh, before that, I'm just going to double click it. Put a color overlay on that. And the color I chosen is a... Um, kind of purple, dark purplish. Uh, let me just zoom in right there. See, it's 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 a dark brown, gray, purple kind of thing. Um, if you want the same color, uh, let me just show you the code of the color. The code is eight three five six six four. Just copy that, put it in, and you have the same color. There you go. Then just put it the second layer a bit down and to the right, like that, not too much, like that. Make a new layer between those two text. Take your uh, polygon lasso tool or your pen tool, doesn't matter. The polygon lasso tool is just easier and faster, that's why I'm going to use it. Just select the top part and the new top part and make a little bridge between it and fill that in, like that, so it's 3D. Do that with all, all the parts. That needs to be filled in. Just fill that all in. There you go. Fill that in. Fill that in. All the new layer. There you go. Fill that in. There you go. Now we have the top part of the text. Now let's start with the bottom one. So what you want to do is copy the top text but that we just did just copy that merged the bottom three ones just control e that real okay just control e that real quick so they merge together go with your uh, text that you just duplicated double click on that go on col color <laughs> go on color overlay take the color i chose a pink kind of color let me that color okay put it below everything and now i'm going to make that a bit bigger Okay, I'm gonna move that. I'm gonna make that a bit bigger. Like that. I'm going to put that all the way down. Like so. Then I think I did something like that. Then what you want to do, I'm just going to um, remove this layer. No, I'm not gonna delete it. I'm just going to click on the little eye so it's it's not there anymore. I can't see it anymore. And you can see I did also a 3D text, but it's, it's, it's bigger. I'm going to put that a bit there. So I'm going to duplicate the M again. I'm going to double click on that. I'm going to do change, take a different color, color overlay. I'm going to take that color. If you want to have the color, just copy that. I'm going to leave that there for a second. There you go. Same color. Now move that back down a bit and to the right as well. This time more than the other one. So it's, you can really see it's, it's going to become really big 3D. Um, let's do something like this. Okay, like a, make a new layer between those two. Take a lasso tool again. 
take that color and fill in the edges again or like the corners or like I don't know how to call that the edges I don't know just fill that in how I quick fill that in is just all backspace you can use the bucket tool uh, as well if you want this is just uh, as quick as possible like that fill that in I think I missed a spot right there missed the spot Go. Oh, missed the spot again. All backspace, all backspace. You can fill it with the bucket tool. There you go. And now we have your TDM. Now, what we want to do is you can see I have a little shadow effect on the bottom. And now that's what we're going to do make another new layer uh, above the layer that you just made. Um, the same dark. Um, pink copy the code if you want you don't have to you can do your own colors and just go ahead and select the bottom one and fill that in in your new layer there you go there you go and there you go now you have filled that in i have a little effect on the side as well and how we're going to do that is we're going to merge the two bottom layers that we made so ctrl e that there you go we're going to on the new layer we're going to select that like that not everything like that you're going to take your brush tool and you're just going to dab on the top one twice there you go and you see i did the same thing here so i'm going to do that again Going to select that. Like that there you go and with the brush tool hidden twice on the top there you go did I do the middle part I can't really see but I, I don't I did I did I did uh, we can do the middle part as well select that like that see there's a shadow between that and we can do the same thing here select it right there right there okay select go on yeah there you go take a brush tap twice and there you go you have your tdm for the back now i also did a stroke so i'm going to double click the m on the top give the stroke put the opacity just there i'm going to put a you know a light color like that Bam. put it on two maybe in center yeah put it on center size two and the color a white pinkish there you go and now we can make the m pack visible and i see it doesn't really fit anymore it needs to be a bit bigger there you go and that's how i made that kind of m style you can see how I made it it's the same it's literally the same I did some other effects on it so you can I uh, put a little star effect and how I did that is you take your brush dab once ctrl T make it a bit smaller ctrl J that turn that put a little splash on it in the middle again there you go merge those layers and put that on the top we'll make that a bit smaller turn that around a bit there you go that's literally how i made that that's the first one let me just merge that okay up to the next one i'm going to do the psycho one that i did for a client that didn't respond yeah that's that font is a uh, wild world there you go and that's basically the same um strat that i did with the uh, m let me show you real quick how i did that so we're going to double click on the layer style we're going to do a color overlay just purple I'm going to put a stroke on that and that's a brown uh, stroke brown purplish um, there you go we're going to copy that ctrl j that or right click and copy layer style we're going to double click the bottom layer we're going to remove the stroke we're going to color overlay we're going to select the dark purple we're going just going to, to put that down and a bit to the right like that 
make a new layer it's basically the same um, thing how I uh, make it 3d and just fill in that little corner right there fill that in maybe I should put it like that there you go and now it's 3d and then I just merge those two bottom layers double clicked on that and put a stroke on that like that put the opacity a bit down and there you go that's how I make that psycho uh, layer style of typography that's the easy one uh, okay let's go over to the next one uh, that's also a simple one let me just go duplicate and make that a bit bigger there you go that's the P go over to this one this is quite a simple one but I liked it as well so let me just go type a a Japanese um, uh, and I have a font a Japanese font that I use um, it's this one um, you can download it as well uh, this, this is free to download this is a GN KMB font so click that uh, what I did there is I double clicked on it I go over to layer style to put on color overlay I made a black put a stroke on that a white stroke on the outside uh, uh, a tree or something I duplicate that I double clicked on that and I gave it a gradient overlay a white uh, to put the opacity a bit higher a white to black like that I did it like that now I then I duplicated the bottom layer again and I put a stroke on it and the same I put on the same same stroke the other thing I did I merged those two together double clicked on that again Put a stroke on that again i put a black stroke this time and make it way bigger and i put the opacity on 33 there you go and i have the layer style I also have a little effect a little glitch effect uh, let me just show you how i did that let me just copy that go to filter uh, i think i put on stylize wind you have a little wind effect like that and I put the opacity all the way down like to a 18 then I merge those two together Control J it again then I double clicked and the RGB channels put the RNG gone and I just clicked and then I just moved it to the right and then you have a little glitch effect there you go that's how I made that kind of text style now we go over to the hardest one in my opinion uh, the hardest one let me just put that in the middle just copy that let me just do the L and uh, let me just go search for the font that I used. That's the one. Uh, the font is of mates and man. Every font that I've used will be in the description so you can download that and recreate it yourself. Now what I did is actually basically the same but I just um, did it with a gradient and yeah, it's basically the same concept with different colors and different styles. Uh, but I'll show you again how I made that so you can um, make the same style. So what I did this time is I double clicked on it again, put a stroke on that, at this time I blue stroke. There you go, if you want the same color, just copy it. Put it on the outside, but put the opacity all the way up and put it on the stroke on the two, like that. Okay, not done yet. Put a gradient overlay on that. Uh, I think I still have the gradient, I'm not sure. Do I have this, still the gradient, the same gradient that I used? Yeah, I think it's this one. Um, not sure if this one, but I think it's this one. Um, the gradient is white to a pink reddish to an orange to a yellow you can copy that style uh, if you want there you go and what else I did is I put a, a inner glow a normal one with the color color white put the opacity all the way down put the size a bit down like that there you go uh, what I did that is copy that just remove everything that we just did with the copy just ctrl j it put a color overlay on that and i just put a like a brown blackish there you go and the same thing again we just move it a bit down and a bit to the right and now we do the same thing we make a new layer take our uh, polygon tool uh, on the new layer we take the same color the blackish and we just fill in those little parts that is basically the the basics how to make 3d text in photoshop it takes a while but 
I think it always spice up your text a bit. Okay, there you go. Now, now I just do the light effects. Uh, so I'm gonna merge those two back layers. There you go. So you can move them. Make a new layer. Clipping mask on that layer. So hold an Alt and click on the layer. Now what you want to do is basically have that orange kind of color. Okay. Now select that part. There you go. Take your brush. I'm going to make it a bit smaller. And just okay. That's still big. There you go. And just have a little splash on the side there you go now you want to do that again but on this side there you go and now I'm going to have the splash on the top there you go and now I want to have a little splash right here a little splash on the top a little splash on the bottom there you go you can see the 3d text is um, going can see it happening now I want to do it right here I want to have a little splash on the top and on the bottom there you go and now the bottom side have a little splash left and right there you go I forgot a little splash there a little splash right there okay now with a little square, I'm gonna do the same thing. A little splash on the top and the bottom. There you go, and you had a little light flag effect. Now we're gonna just put the opacity a bit down. I'm gonna make a new layer. Clipping mask again, so hold an alt. Do that again. I'm going to take a white orangey. I'm just going to put the bottom side. I'm going to fill that in. Right, let me do that again. Just the bottom side like that. Put it on screen put your opacity a bit down there you go we have a little light effect on the bottom and then i just did i merged um all of the bottom all together so select everything and ctrl e then i double clicked it and put a white stroke on the end like that um there you go white stroke on everything and then i just um Merge everything together, so Ctrl E, select everything, Ctrl E, and then Ctrl T, and then I pressed in skew, and then I just made it a bit slightly skewed. There you go, like that. And then I just hit it with another, um, like, star, or like a lens flare that I made, like, like this. Hit it again, make it smaller. I just did that already with the Maya text. Duplicate it with Ctrl J. Make a new layer, hit it with a little tab. There you go, and I merge those two layers and make it a bit smaller. Turn it a bit, and yeah. There, there we go. That's literally the same thing that I did with the text. So now you have all the all the ones that I made and all the ones that you asked about and how I made them. Now you can make them yourself. If you have any more questions, um, let me know. If you have any more textiles that I made and you want to see how I made them, let me know in the comments down below. If you make a banner with these styles and you post them on Twitter, uh, please tag me in it so I can see what my friends have been making. Always like to see what you guys have been up to. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video of my top typography. See you guys in the next one. Peace.